process mover plugin allows you to quickly move your content publishing process along by allowing you to notify the next person in charge of the publishing process. So here's how it works. Once the plugin is installed, there will be a new item here called process mover settings. We'll take a look at that. And on the very top, you will see four predefined tasks already for you. These are pretty typical in any content publishing system. Uh, you can change the task if you want to, or you can add additional tasks if you wish, or delete them at any time as well. The only time you cannot delete the task is if there are already posts assigned to the task. So at this point, we'll leave that alone. The next thing here you will see are user roles. So these are the different roles that are available for you to notify. Uh, usually, you would want to keep them as default. That's perfectly fine. Next thing you can do here is the email subject and the email body copy, which you can modify. We have already modified it to be uh, this email subject. And we also added a couple of things in our email body right here. And it will also have some merge codes here to be used. If you're not sure, you can leave it as default. Uh, and see how it works before you edit it. And then finally, we have process integration, which is really notification integration. Uh, the default really are these two already selected, and you can uh, remove any one of these if you don't use them. But email is the most commonly used. And then there's also the option to integrate with Slack. Now, Slack is a communication uh, system, which and if you don't use it, you don't know what it is, that's fine. You can simply uncheck it. And if your team does use Slack, you can simply leave it checked and then paste the Slack uh, webhook URL. And these instructions how to get the webhook URL will be in your user guide. And once we're done, we can simply click Save Changes. Now that we have our settings all done, we are ready to use the process mover. So let's assume I'm creating a new post right now. I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to write the post. Now I'm done writing the post. Maybe the next step in the process is for somebody to do an editorial review. So what I'll do is move down here and find a box called process mover. I'll click notify and I'm going to send this to the editor for review. And I'm going to select the editor. So let's see, it's this guy. The user email will automatically be added for me. And what I'll do is I'll just save draft. Now, immediately over here, you will find that my Slack has given me a notification on my desktop. And if I check email, you will find an email sent to the editor that this post is ready for review and that the editor can quickly click on the link to go to the post directly to check my post to see if it's ready for uh, publishing. The process mover also has a box setting so that when we have multiple processes that we need to send multiple different people, we can use the bulk setting as well. So assuming that the active and healthy mind post is already reviewed by the editor and it's ready for graphics. So we'll send it to the next person in line to do graphics. Uh, let's assume it's this person. And the plugin will automatically add emails, addresses and all that. And we also want to notify other people uh, of other old posts or other posts that we have created. Maybe we're creating posts bulk at a time. So maybe we want to have this particular post rewritten and uh, it's this person who's being who's responsible for writing or reviewing that. And we can keep on adding different posts. And this one is ready for publishing. And maybe it is this person. You can also click that to delete. But right now we want to submit. So we click process requests. And immediately to the right here, you will see Slack has given me notifications. And I'm receiving all these notifications because uh, we are in demo mode. But normally what will happen is that different people will receive the emails and the notifications on their end. And just to check over here too, we'll have three new emails, uh, all from a different tasks. And once again, I'm receiving all of these notifications myself because 
uh, we are demoing how the plugin works. But normally, uh, these emails will go out to whoever it is who is responsible for this task. Well, I hope you like what you see. We built this plugin because we need it ourselves. We hope you find this useful as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.